Hello and welcome, it's your boy LFJ here with episode 14 of our Lost Eidolons playthrough. And I must say, the vibes have got substantially better ever since we removed that pesky old permadeath feature. Let's continue where we left off. I haven't played in a couple days because, uh, you know, work and stuff. You guys probably won't know that if you're watching this on YouTube because I like to keep a good old daily upload schedule. But we're back in camp. We've got Dahlia, the killer of Collis, in the camp, and Stella, an adventurous merchant. And a few other things, people to talk to. Everyone is waiting for you in the operations area. Understood. I'll head there shortly. Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you. Let's run around. We'll go from uh, marker to marker for now. Just because there's always bits and bobs that could be lying around. Like inside this tent. See, I would have missed this. And some of these things could always be gifts. Who's over there? Can't tell. So this will be the operations area, right? Have a quick look at the prestige quest before I go in there. So we've got to kill 20 bandits. Enter an optional battle and obtain 5 supply crates. Take part in a camp activity with Albrecht and select the conversation topic leading mages in battle. Complete one training session with any opponent. I'm going to forget a lot of that. Ah, Albrecht is right here though. Welcome. Chat over war plans. The leading mage is in battle. Hi there. Can I ask you a question? Hmm. Sure. Is there some trick to mastering magic? Hmm. <laughs> I wish. Truthfully, every mage I've ever met seems to have come to it a different way. I've learned all I know from Verno, studying magic theory as he directed. Intriguing. It's difficult to say what methods of learning might work for another. I only know what worked for me. Why do you ask? Hmm. I feel like we could do. Be, I feel like we could be doing better at training spellcasters around here. We've tried drilling maneuvers like regular soldiers, but it doesn't seem to work as well. Right. You might consider dividing them into groups rather than treating them all the same. Just as archers and lancers have different training needs, so do mages with a talent for different elements. Many great mages I know excel at one element, yet are virtually ignorant of all others. The way a cavalier might know nothing about working a ballista. Sure. That makes sense. Hmm. I suggest we form separate divisions for various elemental specialties. Allow soldiers to self-select and pursue whichever element speaks to them. That will also allow us to direct them in the field with greater specificity. Much appreciated. Alright, I'll give it a shot, thanks. Time well spent. Is Albrecht in my team? I don't quite remember what happened last episode. Did he just join us, or...? Awesome. I guess we'll talk to these guys while we're here. Nothing to pick up in those tents. Wait. Oh. We'll do the optional battle while we're here as well. Never mind. <laughs> there are none available. What's up, guys? Can you tell me more about your master's studies? His research, simply put, was an inquiry into the source of magic itself. The source of magic? That's all I can tell you at the moment. But you and I will discuss this matter again. Does that mean... Yes. Ah. I will accompany so he is going to join us. Forth. That's great and all, but... Can I ask why? I believe you are the key to something I've been searching for. Alas, I'm afraid I'm not prepared to elaborate just now. He's saying you smell funny. Like I said when we first met. I've heard that Verno was not only the head of the Spire, but one of the greatest strategists in Artemisia. He would have been a great asset to us, if only for that alone. 
Though I do not pretend to be his equal, I have studied in that area as well. Oh, you studied it, huh? From hiding, you mean? You know there's a real war going on, right? I have ascertained as much, yes. The Kingdom of Benario marches on Lyrion, correct? How could you possibly... Given that you've made camp, I don't believe you have any intentions of attacking Hesets. Judging from your force's direction and speed, the capital is the next most logical assumption. Ha! Well, that's good enough for me. All right, then. What's to think about? Welcome aboard. Okay. And we can talk with Marshall. No, uh, Gilbert. Need something? What do you think of that Albrecht fella? I'm very curious about that young fellow's talents, magically speaking. Don't you think he proved himself enough in battle? And then some. Which makes me even more curious. I have to admit, I'm curious myself. Why not go ask him about it? I wouldn't even know where to start. When it comes to a proper spell slinger like that, I'll wager he's done a bit of writing. Go ask if he's got any books under his belt. Okay. Oh! My maximum leadership. I'm such a leader right now. Welcome. Is there something I can help you with? Someone told me real wizards write books. Or something. Do you have anything like that? <laughs> Certainly. See for yourself. Is this kind of thing normal? All this magic stuff is a little beyond me. It's simpler than you might think. You may borrow it if you wish. Thanks. I will. Okay, I assume I've got to show it to Gilbert. Need something? So, what do you think? Well, for someone so young, kids got incredible insight. When I was his age, all I cared about was getting drunk. I wasn't asking for tavern stories, old man. You got no damn respect for your elders, you know that? Anyway, I'll keep a close eye on him. Let you know what I find. What else is there to learn? You've already seen him fight. An old man's memory is like a dream in spring. What? Blink, and it's gone. Now quit asking dumb questions and get ready for the next fight. Okay. Enter and win an optional battle. Okay. Awesome. I forget what the um, the prestige quest was. Something to do with getting supply packs. But do I need to get those during the fight, or do I need to buy them after the fight? I don't know. We'll find out together. Every day is a school day. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need to really... Oh, wait. Manage. No, not manage. Formation. Albrecht. Level 19. But no one's breaking into the top team, so I guess we'll assign him. I've also I've had a new I've had a new thought. Can I just wait if I assign aid? I want Dane. I only want aids with someone Hold on. How do I find out what she is? Dark Grimoire. I only want my aids with their same Archetype. Does that make sense? To make them twice as strong. So, where's my magic boy? Where is he? Where's Leonard? Oh, it's right there. So you're gonna have. Oh. Is 
So now this is everyone but Albrecht, who is an elemental mage. But I've got no elemental mages spare. So I guess this is where I could say... Eden. Oh wait. Eh, oh, whatever. That's not aid. Magic attack plus two when health is at 50% or higher. Yeah, screw it. I've got no other magic people to give them to, so. Because they always help people. How do I explain this? Like, a magic person will help someone with magic. An archer will help someone's archery, you know? So I feel like it's always good to have someone have aids the same type as their AD. As in, you know, the recipient of the aid. I'm just going to stop talking. Let's go. I'm not making any sense right now. Where do these jerks come from? Something doesn't feel right. The enemies are in range. Destroy them at once. Okay. The fight almost seemed too easy for a second there, so... Damn it, I knew this would happen. Don't panic, we can handle a few bandits. Keep going, we got this. I almost don't want to have a turn first. Because right now, no one can reach us. I'm going to split the team in half. Let's get it done. If you say so. Don't fight smarter. Fight harder. Not everyone can be forgiven. Acknowledged. Luck is on my side. And this should be pretty easy. The destination doesn't matter. It's the people you're with. Coming right up. Whoops. If your blood runs hot, keep your head cool. Simple enough. We both do a 5v4 on either side, and then once we've won our fight, we go south. Easy as you like. The question is, can we kill our four? and move down before we get surrounded. Oh, I see. So the prestige quest was to gather a bunch of supply packs. I guarantee the people that have got items on them, like this guy that's moving right now, they're, they're gonna drop supply packs because there's five on the map and we need to gather five. So all we have to do is just win this fight normally, and we should pick them it's up. A shame, spilling blood on such a nice day. Um, dismount. I can actually move more now. Odd. <laughs> Rats. Good God, I guess. The stronger the heart, the sharper the blade. Oh, get wrecked. See you, pal. People who run their mouths die first. I may not be smart, but I know how to hurt. I mean, so far, so good. <laughs> Stolen supply crate. I there it is. I will bring justice to this land. I could heal. Sure. Just for the experience. Don't even need it. Dane's getting some levels up as well. Mind the bow. Um. Wow, that's pretty good movement. Oh well. Uh. Uh. 
I wonder if my long shot would have killed there. Harder the fight, the sweeter the victory. Gotta do a night veil. You can do this. You can do this. Here it goes. To be fair, the guy here, he's dead. I think it does 8 damage to everyone, so as long as I get everyone that weak. Understood. So apart from Karin getting hurt by two people next turn. When your heart starts racing, slow down and take a this. Sure. <laughs> Holy moly. That's a strong move. <laughs> Easy. I mean, I only, I only get I know I only get two uses of that spell, but jeez, still very good. What's wrong with Andrea? Yeah, yeah. She can't Go move. Ahead. Open your mouth. I'll put an arrow in it. Doesn't need to move. <laughs> Amazing. Here we go. Um, and if you can't reach those guys at all, then you're better off focusing here. Faith will never betray me. Yeah, I'm you better off. It, Cap. You can finish this guy off. Yeah. And then Francisco's a sword user, so he's better off being the guy that goes south and attacking the dude with the leather armor. No problem. <laughs> you know what? Marshall can even finish this guy as well. I was going to make a heal, but... Might as well attack. Yeah, you know what? I'd actually rather you kill. Ah! Awesome. Praise sighted. Let's roll. Um. Where are we going again? Oh man, not everyone can even reach here. A lady Marshall. Maybe a cyclone? Ugh, gross. Out of sight, but not out of mind. Think deeply, act quickly. Oh my god, my guys can't do anything. There is no mountain too high to climb. You got it, kid. Might as well do this again. I don't think it's going to kill anyone this time, but... It'll hurt everyone.
He's gonna dodge the counter. He's gonna dodge to the Night Veil anyway. Very nice. I show my highest level character. If the character does 12. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, but now Gilbert's gonna die. Because the other guy's gonna go for him as well. Oh, his movement really bad in there. really help what if I go here no what if I go here and then do the swap do I get experience for that I do huh. should have been more careful perfect Good job. Francisco the Bold has arrived! Shame. Unless it's a critical. Uh. Fine. A solid plan. I guess if I do this. Sarah's safe. This whole world can oh, rot. Oh, I thought this was Corinne. I thought I had extra range. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. I guess I'll kill. Easy. Awesome. Right. Is it just these two left? I think so. As you like. Good performance from everyone involved. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're almost there. Attack someone that fights back. Yes! You fool! Oh, they were stubborn. They knew that the. Yep, yeah, same thing they always say. Okay. <laughs> and Dane levels up. The thing is, my backup brigade, my aides. We'll never level up faster than the other guys, so why would I ever use them? Because they've started lower level than my normal squad, you know? Unless it ever gives me the option to have more than 10 in a fight, which I don't think it will. Cool. Thank you very much. Let's go to the prestige guy. Oh, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Send some boys out. Whoops, did I just say no? I'm really stupid. Confirm. Goodbye, men. Get me some good rewards. Bye. Such a slow walk away. Ah, 
Ah, I can now do 11 undoes. And, oh, 70 leadership. Oh my god, incredible. Do I have these as items, by the way? Am I stupid? Every time I get the rewards... Where I mean, I don't even know where I'm looking. Here? Oh yeah. A gift from the local village is based on your army's deeds. Open it up to see what's inside. <gasps> oh. Uh. I'll do the first one. Oh. oh. And then village rewards grade three. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I never knew that. I'm stupid. Oh, I did get a requital... Requi I don't know that word. Requital change? Re requital chain? Guard six. Sure. And then anyone who's not wearing a necklace. There you go, Corinne. You get some magic defense. Do I have any? Spear. And a sword. Spear and sword. Maybe I should give you a spear or sword. Oh, it does the same amount of damage as the axe. But it has more buffs. Can anyone else wear it? Literally no one. The only person with a grey... Yeah, it has to be. But what do we go with? A spear or sword? Accuracy plus 6 when ca attacking or countering. Accuracy plus 3 when using combat skills. And then we got accuracy, critical hit when physically attacking. Hmm... Let's go spear. And that means I can give him a weapon. I mean a shield. And we've still got a sword, but I don't think... Yeah, no one can have that. Spears are cool, you're right. Sorry, someone just came into my room. Okay. We've got some people to talk to over here. Mr. Gilbert. Need something? What'd you think of that battle, old man? I mean, assuming you haven't forgotten it already. I knew that was going to happen. At any way. <laughs> that Albrecht. <laughs> okay, so someone's come into my room asking for a spare controller. To, to have play on the PlayStation in the other room. Sure. And now they keep turning on the that's PlayStation uh, the controller, which it so is logging into mine. Ease your concerns? Let me finish. His basics are solid, but theory and practice are two different beasts. I'd wager he hasn't seen much real world combat. So Okay, done it again. Nice. He'll pick the rest up in time, right? Guess we'll see. I'll keep an eye on him. I may have to quickly run downstairs and tell people. Do you know how to connect a controller? You stupid, you stupid dumb, you stupid dumb boy. Stupid, stupid. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. Be all right. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment.
I'm back. So I'm a stupid idiot. Did you know? Did you know that about me, guys? It's a bloody PlayStation 4 downstairs. No wonder they couldn't connect the controller. It's a PlayStation 5 controller. Silly me. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back now. I wonder how many viewer retention we've lost. Okay, uh... Where do I go? Where am I doing? Uh, map. Leon. Let's have a word with Leon. Hey. What's got you so deep in thought? I was thinking about his sets. A sets? Why? <sighs> Just seems like a waste to pass by without stopping. They say the blacksmiths there make the best equipment in Artemisia. Sure, everybody knows that. But now's not the time for sightseeing, Leon. I'm not just spouting colorful information for the sake of it, Eden. I'm saying, don't you think some new gear might make things easier? All right, all right. Still, it might be risky to get too close to Hassets. I'll check in with the merchants. Okay, and well, we've got a new visitor, Stella. Hey, need something? Hi there. So you're Stella. <laughs> a pleasure, Vice Commander. Thought was told me all about you. Guess he's good at something after, after all. <laughs> so, I hear you ran a merchant guild in Kyozin. That's right. And you're some kind of master archer too? Yep. One goes with the other. Can't let grow your bandits swipe all my goods. Hmm. Sounds like you had a com comfortable business. Why leave it? <laughs> Any good merchant wants to move on to bigger and better things. Think I could win myself a castle or two? <laughs> sure, if you have right. what it takes. <laughs> Great, mind if I look around? I want to get a feel for the mood here. Uh-huh. Be my guest. Hey, need something? Had a chance to look around? Like what you see? As a matter of fact, I do. Promising operation you've got here. I'm just about ready to join as soon as you meet my terms. Your terms? Sure. You didn't think I'd be joining for free, did you? I thought you came here looking for adventure. Adventure's nice, but coin is nicer. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this is mostly a volunteer army. Most of what we earn goes right back into supplies and equipment. Oh, I'm well aware. You're talking to a supplier. Believe it or not, I've already had my share of dealings with the Benarian army. Peddling food and medicine to valiant soldiers in need. And I was so moved by the cause, I did something I never do. Sell on credit. Uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Now, now. No need to fret. Just settle this little invoice and we're square. All right. Let me see it. 700 gold? Who ran up a debt like that? I can't keep all these identical-looking meatheads straight. The name's at the bottom. You figure it out. Now get moving. Time is money, and mine's worth a lot. Ask Salma about gear. Examine Stella's invoice from your inventory. An invoice for numerous provisions, including expensive chocolates, foreign ales, and spiced jerky. Okay. I hereby solemnly swear that I will absolutely, undoubtedly, under pain of death or a merchant's wrath, pay this amount back to Stella. The signature is hard to make out. Uh, maybe one of the other merchants will have better luck deciphering the. Okay. Welcome back. What's up? Hey, Porter. I was wondering if you could help me with something. Let me guess. Stella's bill. All right. You two know each other. Any chance you can help me make sense of this thing? Sure, let's take a look. Let's see. Chocolate, ale, jerky. Oh my, someone threw quite the party, didn't they? Yeah, and I can't read their name at the bottom. It looks like... maybe Orlando? Orlando? Who's that? No idea. You don't recognize the name? No. I wonder if they're even part of our troop. Zarbaril might be able to help. He keeps detailed logs of every sale he makes. Got it. Thanks, Porter. It's gonna be someone using a fake no name. 
But, uh, if I were you, I'd get that bill taken care of as soon as possible. Stella acts nice, but she used to run a whole merchant's guild. She knows how to make life difficult for people who don't settle their debts. Right. Thanks for the warning. How may I assist you? Zarbaril, how's business? Mm, busy as always, but I can't complain. I was wondering if you've had any dealings with a soldier named Orlando. I'm trying to settle a bill for another merchant, but that name's not familiar to me. One sec, I'll check my logbook. Hmm, I'm not seeing anyone by that name here. Hopefully they didn't give this merchant a fake name. That happens sometimes. A fake name, huh? Okay, I know just who to talk to. It's gonna be Francisco, right? Oh, Leon, okay. Hey. All right, fess up. You're Orlando, aren't you? Excuse me? Somebody calling themselves that has been running up bills on credit using the Benarian Army's name. What makes you think I've got anything to do with it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that time when we were kids. You did the same thing to that toy shop owner in Mora. Pout, you need to get your memory checked. That was you who did that. Don't try to confuse me! <laughs> You're already confused. Orlando's not a fake name, you dummy. He's one of the auxiliary oh. archers. Oh. Uh, right. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. I'm used to you being stupid by now. There actually is an Orlando here. Anything catch your eye? I've heard that arms and armor from Hassets are top-notch. Do you happen to have any? There's nothing that I can't get. However, there are certain things I'm unable to sell. And... this is one of those things? Yes, unfortunately. I've got a few items, but they're currently on hold for another client. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? A good merchant never breaks an accord. However, if you can offer me something enticing enough in return, I may bend my principles just this once. Something enticing, huh? All right. Let me see what I can do. And the wall we're here. Catch your eye. Um, whoops. I'll take the spear. Gifts! I didn't know she sold gifts! Amazing. You're much too kind, dear. Right, discuss with Leon. Hey. So, how did it go? Salma's got what we need, but it's spoken for. Unless we can find something more valuable. Maybe an Aspida? What? We hunted some Anaspida recently. Why not offer her that? What would she want with a carcass? Did I say you should dump the whole thing on her? It's got rare parts. Let's harvest those. I don't know. Anaspidas are rare. But is it really worth all that? Can't hurt to find out. Let's go talk to the blacksmith. Okay. Uh, real quick, let's do the armor first. Um, anyone with? There we go. Swap that for tempered plated armor, and swap that with leather. Let me just double check. That's it. That's all we've got. I also got an accessory, right? Yep, cool. Hello, blacksmith. 
I want to process crafting materials from an anaspida. Is that possible? What did you have in mind? Surely the fangs, right? The fangs. The fangs, huh? I've heard they can still hold venom even after it's dead. I better be careful. <laughs> Please, just wait a moment. Here you are, sir. Much appreciated. Remind me to buy you a drink sometime. And then we'll go tell Selma. Anything catch Did I choose the right thing? Ah, this is high quality work. Most mercenaries would just drop a severed head in my lap and call it a day. You're much more savvy than I thought. Whether it's business or battle, you've got to stay one step ahead to survive. Your wit is wasted on war, boy. If you ever get tired of waging war, you ought to join me. I appreciate the offer, but you'll have to wait in line. I'm a pretty hot commodity around here myself. Say no more. Here you are. Genuine Hisset's made equipment. Pleasure doing business. Thanks. So what did we get? A belt. It's gonna be a gift item, right? Look at these game devs. Charges unknown. Often seen sleeping. Cute. Orlando. Hey, which one of you is Orlando? Uh, why? Because I've got a merchant who says he owes her a lot of money. Oh man, I don't know what I should do here. Is it you? No, sir. Orlando was my bunkmate. He bought all that stuff for us to celebrate after the battle in Aliche. I think he planned to pay it back eventually, but he's... not around anymore. Oh no, don't tell me. He was hurt pretty badly in cures and... I... I was there with him when he passed. None of us have the money to cover that bill, sir. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. Forget I brought it up. Yes, sir. Was he a good soldier? No, sir. <laughs> His aim was terrible. But he was a good friend. Oh. Now I feel bad. Unless they're lying to me to get free chocolates. I'm trapped. <laughs> How do I get over there? Sorry guys, it's me again. Sorry about bringing up your dead friend again. Don't. Now, is Stella going to make us pay the thing? Because I've got enough money to pay the bill, but does Stella have a heart? Hey, need something? Stella. Ah, uh, my debt collector returns. How goes your task? I tracked down that soldier who owed you money. He's dead. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Me too. But I have your invoice now. I can't pay it right this moment. But if you're willing to wait a few weeks... <sighs> Forget it. Huh? The debt. It's a race. <laughs> Poof. Just like that? What can I say? I knew the risks selling on credit. I'll eat the cost. Besides, between the two of us, I think he paid the higher price. That's kind of you. Thanks. Nah, uh, don't mention it. I mean, seriously, don't mention it. I've got a reputation to uphold. Okay. So, are you ready to hey, join us, though? Need something? <clears throat> oh, I asked the wrong uh... question. Sorry. Hmm. You betcha! Hey, need something? <sighs> oh no, I did say the um, right thing. Uh, hmm. Sorry about that. Hmm. Okay. Hey, so she wants to be our something? mate. 
Uh, let's chat over a meal first. I don't want to have to waste my gifts. Money problems. Uh... Do you ever worry you're too cavalier about letting people buy on credit? I mean, half the work people hire mercenaries for is collecting people who owe the merchant's money. Uh. No one who deals with mercenaries like that is a true merchant. They're just predators. They lend money out for ridiculous interest and exploit people for years. Scum like that gives honest peddlers a bad name. Granted, 700 gold is no small amount of money for me, but I'm not losing sleep over it. <laughs> if word gets out that I'm a kind soldier who occasionally forgives debts, that's only good for business. <laughs> that's kind of brilliant. How long have you had that policy? Duh. I just made it up. I'm trying to make myself feel better about losing all that money. Hmm. If it bothers you so much, you should let me pay you back. <laughs> No, no, a merchant never goes back on her word. Her reputation is my life. <laughs> well, that's All definitely right. honourable. I don't know if it's smart. Nice. Can we have hey, another one? Oh my something? god, yes we can. And this time we're going to talk about the camp, I think. <laughs> Anyone? Is there, any, is there anything that, in the camp that bothers you? I think we're all set up here, but if it's important to hear other people's opinions. <laughs> I've seen my share of army camps, and compared to half of them, this place is cosy as Solrus's palace. Sol what? It's a fancy place the Emperor built. Uh, well... A, a camp is <laughs> like it. Sure, you've got your own operations, planning area, stables, blacksmiths, even a place to grab a drink. Most camps are lucky enough to get a few tarps on poles to keep the rain off. <sighs> that sounds rough. Sure. No kidding, so don't fret too much. As far as places like this go, yours is the best I've seen. And I'm not just saying that to butter you up. Because I can't right. doubt the word of an honourable merchant like you. Well, good. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Stella. And now we should be able to get away with hey, one gift. Need something? Uh, let's go for just soldier pearl brooch. Thanks a bunch. Awesome. Hey, need something? Hmm. Want to join? <laughs> a good judge of character. Your people seem trustworthy. <laughs> I think we should work together. Consult. Uh, count me in. Ah. Boss. Awesome. And I think we get hey, a unique dialogue now. Well, we will soon. And we will look at our newest member. There she is. She's already got a rare bow, so that's fun. And she's already got rare armor. Very fun. Cool. Oh, she hasn't got a shield, but I don't think I've got a shield to get. Oh, no, she does have a shield. Cool. Um, anything else? Are we done? Who was the other new person in the camp? It was Stella and someone else, right? Oh, Dahlia. Almost missed this. Hey, how's it going? Well, look who it is. Hi there. Who are you again? It's Dahlia. Whoa. Dahlia is in Killer of Collis, Dahlia? Uh. In the flesh, so to speak. And what brings you to our camp? <laughs> you don't have to be so wary. I heard you're looking for skilled new recruits. <laughs> I happen to kill people professionally. And I happen to be good at it. Hmm. Does that mean you want to join us? Mm -hmm. Sure, if you can afford me. So, make me an offer. <laughs> Alright, let's talk. Well, look who it is. Hmm. How much are you asking for your services? Ah. How much are you offering? How about... 500 gold? <sighs> is that enough? Do not You're test joking. me. I wouldn't even kill an ant for pocket change like that. <sighs> Flip. Well, okay. look who it is. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Let me think it over. Hmm. What was that? Hmm. <clears throat> Let me give well, you some look gifts. Who it is. Let me give you the unique belt. <laughs> Much obliged. Well, look who it is. And then we can go with military handbook. Well, look who it is. Then we can go with soldier's badge. <laughs> Much obliged. Well, look who it is. Then we can go with landscape painting. There we go. Well, look who it is. Hmm. How much you ask for your huh. service? How much offering? But this time, hmm. do not. 
Damn it. Trust me. <sighs> I was no, hoping that it is. I raised. Oh, oh well. Hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. a thousand. Hmm. Well, considering. I'll need money for equipment. Uh. Can, you, can I throw in a little more? 200 gold? Yeah, sure. Right. Uh. Music to my ears. Then we're set. Uh. I'm in. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Welcome to the Benarian army. How much. How do I feel about. Well, look who it is. <laughs> much obliged. 1,200 for a new recruit. Where is she? Honestly, might just give her a spear. Shields are the same. No fancy bows. Now, are we done? I think we are. I think one of the prestige quests... Was it to spar with someone? Complete one training session, but I'm out of leadership points. Okay, I can't do nothing. I guess we're leaving the camp. Chapter 13, Hidden Depths. We don't have the numbers. We oh. don't have the numbers to take Liriar by force. I thought there was no voice acting then. Is there any good way to go about it? It's important that we minimize casualties. We're going to need a landslide victory. Seriously? I could have told you that. I mean, we need to stun them. A single, overwhelming triumph. Well, I don't know if you've looked at the map recently, but there's more than one castle between here and Liriar. Francisco. Please, go on. This should be the first and last battle needed to secure our advance to the capital. Curizen. And you think that'll be enough to get us close to the city? I do, but with one caveat. The army led by Sir Cristobal must secure victory at the Battle of Lenoy. I believe the Empire leans too heavily on Caspar. The Lords take his victories for granted. If he were defeated, what do you suppose would happen if, in the very next instant, they received news that you had conquered Kiorzin? They'd fold like a sack of wet oats. And what if Cristobal doesn't win? We'd have no choice but to retreat. It's definitely a gamble, but it's the best chance we've got. Hey, now you're speaking my language. Count me in, brother. And here I thought this guy was some stuffy little bookworm. He's as crazy as the rest of us. If you like this plan, it makes me worried. It's a good idea in theory, but taking the castle at Kyorzen will be no easy task. Lord Abelard is no pampered aristocrat. He's known throughout the Empire for his valor in battle. Even if we do secure victory, he may not surrender easily. If that's the case, it will be difficult to sell the narrative that we conquered by storm. A fair point. He did serve as the sword of House Seagulf, after all. Perhaps a letter from King Abramo would sway him to reason. In any case, appealing to Lord Abelard's vainglory will be the crux of our strategy. First, 
I suggest you hide most of our troops in the woods near Kiorzin. Meanwhile, the remainder will masquerade as the main force and make a frontal assault. You want to bait them into an ambush? Aye. With any luck, the enemy will come out from behind their walls and make a countercharge. If our diversionary force feigns terror and retreats, Lord Abelard is bound to pursue. At that moment, we strike with all we've got. Understood. Let's move forward with this plan. Everyone, study these maneuvers and prepare for battle. This is our first step to taking Liriar. Victory is our only choice. Alrighty then. We're gonna pretend to be cowards. My specialty. And we're going straight into it. Let's have a look here. So we've got another warrior. So Leon. Assign aid. You can get Dahlia. And Stella is a Huntor. Karin. Karin's a higher level than Robin, which is crazy because I've had Robin longer. Assign aid. She goes out with her mate Stella and gets bored all over her fella. Okay. Um, and I think this is where we're going to end this episode. Well, it has to be. We're, we're just encroaching, encroaching on the hour mark. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. As always, I do appreciate you. I've been your boy, LF Jake. This has been episode 14 of our Lost Eidolons playthrough. I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, much love. Ciao for now.